Well, hello everyone. I have another video for you, so let's give this a shot. Hope you can understand what I'm trying to tell you here. And uh, first of all, for those uh, of you who don't know what MGTOW stands for, M G T O W stands for, it is the acronym for uh, men going their own way. Men going their own way. This is for those people who stumble onto this video who have no clue what I'm talking about. Uh, a MGTOW can be defined as being anything from the refusal uh, to rel relinquish men's freedom to women, uh, the refusal to serve women, refusal to offer resources to women, refusal to give commitment to women, refusal to give monogamy to women, or uh, abstaining from all female contact all together. Uh, what in fact men are doing is denying women control um, over them by not feeding into gynocentrism. It's an effective, desperate, yet very necessary measure against feminism, gynocentrism, female power, encroaching female socioeconomic superiority and female political and legal dominance. Um, so this video is a response to Sandman's video, The Monks of MGTOW. The Monks of MGTOW. Uh, it's also a response to my own video um, uh, called MGM, Men Going Monk, not MGTOW. And to some crazy comments Aaron Clary made regarding the current status of MGTOW. Sandman, you nasally voiced Prince of Yugoslavia. <laughs> there is nothing in your video that I do not agree with. And nothing for which you should apologize. You are, of course, running predictably into the same defense mechanism-induced backlash as I do in my videos. Many, if not most, are using MGTOW as a much-needed support group. I can fully sympathize and empathize with all the hurt, betrayed, cheated, and guilt-ridden men universally. I have been there and may find myself there again in the future. Um, as we can see, no man is immune uh, to that fate if you're in a relationship with, with any woman, really. I acknowledge that a support group is imperative uh, for men uh, we all know that women naturally live within a powerful gender-based support group, the female collective, which has no mercy on men. Female support is bolstered further by a woman's BFFs, best friends forever, as well as receiving support and moral license, uh, even uh, from government, the legal system. Um, unaware, naive, traditionalist men in their millions worldwide and uh, Western society in general. Uh, this is no small validation and an actual approval given for every element of female nature and behavior, regardless of how repulsive, destructive, aggressive and abusive it may be toward men. Women seem to get away with murder these days and are worshipped and applauded for it. They seem to be anyway. This is very painful to witness and endure. Men have been subordinated and emasculated as the world was feminized through political forces. Everything female seems to be worthy of 
praise, reverie, while anything masculine is labeled as criminally pathological or dismissible. So men need somewhere to turn to save at least a remnant of their dignity and sense of empowerment. Miktau is the right place and possibly the only place. However, there's a danger to this. I think Miktau is in danger. It is too convenient to hide behind the fantasy world that Miktau often presents as an assuagement for men. A loss of reality is not productive for any man as they lose their footing to amend whatever issues they may be facing. Miktau is vulnerable to attracting uh, somewhat emotionally disturbed individuals who will refuse to make the effort to better themselves or even possibly tackle their female problems head on. Miktau should not be used as a fantasy camp for male ego, deception, and as a crutch or a justification for men's relationship failures and incapacities. It is to be if it if it is to be used for these purposes, then it will mirror as a counterpart to feminism. The same way feminism is used for justifying and celebrating all of the shortcomings of female nature. Mictow should not be used to justify and condone male shortcomings. Conversely, well, feminism is the female fantasy camp and as we know how destructive and counterproductive it is uh, to women themselves. Nonetheless, it is driven by major political, economic, and social forces. There's power behind feminism. Well, MGTOW and men's rights is largely powerless and very susceptible to marginalization by society at large. Extra care must be taken that the bruised and beleaguered male ego is not allowed to hijack the important purpose of Mikta, that of, empo of empowering men, taking back control for women, through a more equitable balance of power between the genders, and exposing female nature for what it is and what its intentions are. <clears throat> this can only be done if men relinquish their egos and concentrate on the important task at hand instead of purely self-consoling and ignorantly boasting about imagined agency over women. Let me read that again. This can only be done if men relinquish their egos and concentrate on the important task at hand instead of purely self-consoling and ignorantly boasting about imagined agency over women. McDowell should also not be used as the basis for condemnation of men, such as declaring that Married men cannot be big, cannot be MGTOW, or even setting up various hierarchies of MGTOW, with the top MGTOW being the monks of the movement. It's almost like we feel compelled to aspire to become monks and eunuchs in order to gain MGTOW validation or else be chastised and relegated to lower MGTOW status. This type of self-imposed limitation to MGTOW is counterproductive and such pettiness 
again, ego-driven, becomes reason for ridicule by any outside observer, male or female. MGTOW can easily lose its validity and legitimacy <laughs> or never establish any of that in the first place. Instead, it will become a farce in the eyes of anyone looking in. If this continues, MGTOW will achieve nothing other than being an internet chat group and completely dismissible otherwise. It will be labeled as nothing more than a club for what some would call misfits and losers and possibly even a cult of freaks. In contrast, MGTOW needs the membership of every man as many men as possible. The way MGTOW functions is by spreading awareness about female nature, relationship risks, female self-serving objectives, and the result of gender inequalities within relationships. The result of gender inequalities within relationships. Where the woman is always in control. This awareness is enough of a powerful impetus for any man and every man to instantly join with the MGTOW philosophy since any man with even a bit of intelligence will realize that they live under the perpetual threat of female coercion an impending serious penalty. Every moment. All it takes for MGTOW is to awaken men from their slumber and deprogram them from gynocentric societal indoctrination. MGTOW also must focus on who the problem is, not the man. It should never result to ego battle among MGTOWs, but focusing on the real challenge, women, and the defense against female nature. Women and the voices of female nature must be exposed as often and as much as possible with vigor. Because women are given a pass, and uh, that has to, they're given a pass for everything, and that has to come to an end, right? If, if, if men are going to regain any, uh, any sense of empowerment, then uh, female nature must be exposed every minute, every second, every opportunity. Uh, MGTOW is a mindset. Nothing more, nothing less, and any man, regardless of his relationship circumstance, regardless of his relationship circumstance, he could be single, he could be married, he could be cohabiting, he could be a monk. Uh, they can all embrace and support MGTOW equally as long as they have awareness, right? It's the only thing that's necessary, the only, the only requirement here for MGTOW. MGTOW is a matter of awareness, and then comes vigilance, attitude, and proactive behavior. You just don't talk and talk and talk. You actually do something about it. You actually you're going to be proactive in your everyday life and definitely proactive if you want anything to do with women or if you're in a relationship with a woman. 
if you're going to be aware, you might as well make that aware, you might as well put that awareness to use, to good use. Uh, MGTOW cannot just be a chat forum, you know, an academic exchange of ideas, not enough, not enough. That's definitely an important part of it, but it's actually a minor part of it. If you exhibit and practice these four things, awareness, vigilance, attitude, and proactive behavior. <clears throat> then you are Mikta in its fullest. You will be a fool to underestimate what a man with considerable experience with women long-term relationships, marriage, experience with marriage, experience with divorce, you'd be a fool to, to dismiss what such men can contribute to MGTOW. Much more than the teenage whippersnapper who has never had a girlfriend or maybe a few one-night stands brought on by chance or the middle-aged monk who may have had a few short-term relationships with women in the distant past, <clears throat> currently MGTOW is attracting many uh, for the sole purpose of ego gratification. This is what I see the, the, the huge problem being. Currently, MGTOW is attracting many for the sole purpose of ego gratification and comforting. They come to MGTOW to feed their ego and justify their incapacities, wallowing in hallucinations of male empowerment instead of true solid learning about female nature and relationship advice and dynamics, be it dating, uh, the challenges of long-term commitment or going monk, whatever, whatever it is. Um, that's the purpose of MGTOW, not to be in a fantasy world. It should be your choice and your choice alone what direction you take within MGTOW and what your relationship choices will be. MGTOW should not be relegated to delusional ego gratification of young men who are sexually frustrated or older men who have given up trying with women a long time ago. MGTOW should not be a surrender to female dominance It's by passive disassociation. which is what the monks are doing. You can go that route, but it cannot be the only route. The bottom line being is that women are either in control or they proceed to acquire that control. This is an important point here. <laughs> the bottom line being that women are always in control or they proceed to acquire that control. That's the orientation of every woman in a, in a relationship. No amount of Louis Marco video watching will change that. Women are the gatekeepers and they have been since the beginning of time. Women have one asset and they do not give it away for free. Not even for a nice weekend with Louis Marco. Yes, women are naturally whores, but they never want to be free whores. All they will get is dirty. Women will not 
give away their only asset. Women are not stupid in this way. Innately, they are very selective and they are very careful to not dirty themselves up if possible and lose their sexual value, sexual worth for acquiring future commitment, ultimate commitment from, from a man. Women do the choosing. Only women can open the gates and there are many gates for a man to be progressively admitted through by any woman. It's the woman it's the it's the woman who decides if and when she opens these gates. A woman is in control from the very first second. Keep that in mind. For every woman any relationship is nothing more than a than an exchange. An exchange of pussy for control. If you give her no control, you get no pussy. As simple as that. <clears throat> this will happen with your teenage girlfriend or your wife of 20 years. Same deal. Women are women. Women only play by this rule. There are no naywalts. Not all women are like that. Female nature is universal and historically perpetual. Female nature did not change since Adam and Eve. I fully expect kicking and screaming regarding my assertions and the wrath of men whose ego has just been deflated. As a form of self-medication, -medi simply click on a Louis Marco video and uh, you will feel much better about yourself. As long as you understand that if you follow male fantasy, you will not get pussy. As simple as that. Or you will not get it for long. You will fail every time. Sandman, the reason uh, you have attract, uh, you have attacked, you are attacked here is due to perceived ego threats you are directing towards men who believe you are insinuating that they are failing in life or at least with women. These men are using MGTOW as a form of self-assuagement, using MGTOW as an alleviation of their suffering and loss of self-worth self at the hands of women. As I mentioned before, in many cases MGTOW is no different from the body appreciation movement and videos produced by fat girls who are appeasing and offering solace to other fat girls for being fat while simultaneously trying to force men to find them appealing and sexually arousing. It's not going to work. Acceptance of so-called perfect imperfections and the elimination of judgment is one of the most fundamental of female responses and demands of men. The acceptance of women as they are, even finding them appealing for their bad points. While women proceed to evaluate and condemn men very harshly for the most minute of reasons, either imagined or real. No man is immune to this, and to live in a male fantasy world is equivalent to living 
in a female fantasy world. Make thou should be about awareness through education and self-acknowledgement, not the perpetual perpetuation of a fantasy about male and female nature, which brought you to Mechtown in the first place, did it not? Remember, it's your ignorance that brought you here. The grave, so don't stay ignorant. Embrace reality, not fantasy. The grave mistakes and the penalties you have suffered due to your ignorance. Hopefully, will not occur again after you have been educated uh, in, in, in solid information about male and female nature and the differences between them. In summary, it's you. You decide what the purpose and efficacy of MGTOW is in your life and what you want it to accomplish. But never let your ego stand in the way. If there is any point here uh, you vehemently agree, uh, you vehemently disagree with, then the best way for you to come to an accurate conclusion is to, is to experience women in the flesh. Not through porn, not from the monks of MGTOW, and not from any YouTube personality who pretends to have all the power over women. I say put women to the test and uh, watch how they react and how successful you will be with them. You may want to implement exactly what someone like Louis Marco outlines for you uh, as mating strategy and see how far you get. In closing, do not let your ego get in the way. Suspend your ego for objective thought. See you next time.